Um, this is from Tammy. Tammy says, hello, Randy and Anthony. I'm enjoying your radio show today. We are listening to you from Niagara Falls, Ontario. What is the average interest rate now in Ontario? This kind of leads into my thing, too. So uh, it's around Go ahead. Four, it's around 6%, right? Um, for, for, well, it depends. For like a mortgage, I think it's around 6% mm. if you're looking for a five-year mortgage. Yeah, you can get them at five and a half. And sometimes it depends on the bank. Um, you can do better than that. Yeah, so on that topic with um, the rates, I mean, I mean I've been, we've been talking about for the last few weeks now with if you have a mortgage or if you have a mortgage renewal coming up, um, a lot of people are kind of, well, well to be uh, blunt, just kind of scared because they were living the good life with those 2%, 3% uh, rates, and now they're looking at um, 6%, which means your mortgage, um, what you're paying for your home is going to be going up um, quite a bit. Mm -hmm. so this is one person here in Canada, um, they had a fixed rate of 3.54%. Um, and they, they had like, I guess they had some issues with getting money, so they had, they went to a B lender, um, which is generally a little bit higher in, in terms of rates, so they had a one year mortgage, 3%, 3.5%, and now they have to renew, so they're looking at um, getting around a 6.2% interest rate, because again, they're with a B lender most likely, and their payments are going from four grand up to $6,500. Mm -hmm. So that can be, for, for most families, $2,500. We don't, <laughs> you generally don't have that just sitting around. You know, no, it, I don't think most Canadian families are saving twenty five hundred dollars per month, like a lot of them. Right. Um, so that that increase can be a very big issue, and again, you, we may see a lot of people having to potentially sell their homes in the in the next 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 couple of years, depending on their situation. Um, especially especially if they're going from. Here's the thing: with if you ha if you're in a mortgage right now, um, generally if you're going to stay, like, you, when your term is up, you get like a, um, the renewal option. And with those renewals, you don't generally have to re reapply, correct? You right. Know. If you're getting it in the mail, you yeah. can just sign and yeah. send it. But but one thing I would always recommend, call your mortgage agent or call us and ask us, you know, um, what rate can we get on your for your given situation? Everybody's situation is different. Mm -hmm. like, like Anthony said, 6% would be kind of the norm. But you can get them at 4.99. But... It, special people not everyone um you have to have some uh, you know a lot of equity in your home and yeah. things like that and, and you go ahead. so so what i was uh, saying before is that when you get your renewal letter yes if you sign it and send it back boom you're um you don't need to requalify um however often when they send it to you it's actually not necessarily their best rate. So if you call us to find out what a better rate is, you can then uh, go to them and say, hey, uh, Randy's offering us this amount. Can you match that? And then they'll give you their best rate and, and uh, you sign and it's all over with. Okay. So you kind of use us in order to um, get your uh, better rate. And don't go all upset with the bank because if they um, don't take you back, you got to go and call qualify and you definitely will not enjoy that process right now um, it's a it's a very tough process the banks have changed a lot of things there's things behind the scenes that they've changed I'll talk about that in a minute go well, ahead no you can kind of touch on what I was saying there where where I guess the good thing is if you have a mortgage right now uh, you do have that generally the renewal where it's just literally just signing and you're obviously rates are gonna go up but you don't have to go through that that um, qualification process again, where you still have to qualify above above the rate. And again, if you have if your mortgage is three percent, maybe you have to qualify at four percent, five percent. Now you have to qualify at what, like like eight percent? You have to qualify at? Is that the, yeah. yeah? If so. if you're at six, you have to qualify at eight. If yeah. you're at five, you have to qualify at seven, five and a half, seven and a half. It's so, two so, percent so, over. Yeah, so even though maybe you can afford it, but the qual maybe you can't your qualification might not show it. So. It's, it's, yeah, so if you, again, if you're with an A lender and you can just go through that process, then you, you should be generally okay if, if you can afford the increase in payment. But, um, yeah, so as Randy said, if, if you do want to see what's out there and see what's possible, you can always reach out to us. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it, and please let us know your thoughts in the comments as well as any questions you may have. We're live most Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, so make sure that you tune in. If you're interested in learning more about real estate, click the link in the description to sign up and we'll send you a series of educational videos all about real estate. Thank you again for watching and remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so you can stay up to date on all of our future uploads.